Devarim, Deuteronomy 8. All the commandments which I command you this day shall ye guard to do, that ye may live and multiply, and go in and possess at the land which Yahuwah swore unto your fathers. And you shall remember at all the way which Yahuwah Eloheka led you these forty years in the wilderness to humble you and to prove you to know at what was in your heart whether you would guard his commandments or no. And he humbled you and suffered you to hunger and fed you at with manna which you knew not neither did your fathers know that he might make you know that man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Yahuwah, man lives. Your raiment waxed not old upon you, neither did your foot swell these forty years. You should also consider in your heart that as a man chastens at his son, so Yahuwah Eloheka chastens you. Therefore, you shall guard at the commandments of Yahuwah Eloheka to walk in his ways and to fear him. For Yahuwah Eloheka brings you into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and depths that spring out of valleys and hills a land of wheat and barley and vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of oil, olive and honey, a land wherein you shall eat bread without scarceness. You shall not lack anything in it, a land whose stones are iron and out of whose hills you may dig brass. When you have eaten and are full, then you shall bless at Yahuwah Eloheka for the good land which he has given you. Beware that you forget not at Yahuwah Eloheka in not guarding his commandments and his judgments and his statutes, which I command you this day. Lest when you have eaten and are full and have built goodly houses and dwelt therein, and when your herds and your flocks multiply, and your silver and your gold is multiplied, and all that you have is multiplied, then your heart will be lifted up, and you forget at Yahuwah Eloheka, which brought you forth out of the land of Mitzrayim, from the house of bondage, who led you through that great and terrible wilderness, wherein were fiery serpents, and scorpions, and drought, rather, and drought, where there was no water, who brought you forth water out of the rock of flint, who fed you in the wilderness with manna, which your fathers knew not, that he might humble you, that he might prove you, to do you good at your latter end. And you say in your heart, My power and the might of my hand has gotten me at this wealth. But you shall remember at Yahuwah Eloheka, for it is he that gives you power to get wealth, that he may establish at his covenant, which he swore unto your fathers, as it is this day. And it shall be, if you do at all forget at Yahuwah Eloheka, and walk after other Elohim, and serve them, and worship them, I testify against you this day that ye shall surely perish. As the nations which Yahuwah destroys before your face, so shall ye perish, because ye would not be obedient unto the voice of Yahuwah Elohechem.